Meon Vale, Sapper Close, Madras Road, Bailey Avenue. Your grandfather worked on this site. They lived round here, South Warwickshire, planted these woods. Elms Close, Poplar Drive, Chestnut Avenue. Barbecues on the green, street parties on the square, cupcakes to the door. A village in the Vale on a former army site. But there are still manoeuvres and battles to fight. The lockdown. Overheard in a house in Meon Vale. I'm hungry. I'm bored. Can you play with me? And that's just the adults in the house. Community. Responsibility. Letter through the door. Ring this number if you need help. Family time. Daily walk. Quizzes on Zoom. Playing Monopoly. Check if no one's cheating. Volunteers shopping. Collecting prescriptions. Staying to chat. That long-awaited crunchy so cheered her up. And the sunshine. Couldn't have done it without the sunshine. Woodpeckers in the garden. Herons over the bridge. Skies dark with stars running on empty roads. Away from friends, hard to stay in, losing fitness, school online, building a camp with darts and pool, walking the dog to clear the mind. Job uncertainty, food bank delivery, lockdown bake-off, ingredients supplied. If you have it, you share it. Time to reset and the sunshine. Hmm, couldn't have done it without the sunshine. V E Street Party. Homemade scones, lemon drizzle cake, strawberries and cream. All socially distanced with a tape measure. Furlough for weeks, working from home, Teenagers sleep late, parents up early. In every family, a different story. Lost my nan to coronavirus. 93, independent. Tripped over the Hoover the day before lockdown. Broke her hip. Caught COVID in hospital. Throughout the sadness, I felt lucky that the NHS was there for my nan when we couldn't be. We made our peace. You can't be angry with a virus. Now I know how it feels to be happy and free. As I walk down the street of life And I see all the trees and fall over me Take their branches and roots inside Can you see what's to come inside your life? Can you open your mind's eye? Will you choose your friends for the merit they have? For the selfless acts they hide? I'll live longer than this, I must thrive, I know my purpose in life, now my baby is by my side. The wonderful shop and the people who run it. I really love the shop. The shop. Has anybody got yeast, flour, vanilla essence? What's with all this baking? Knock on doors, ask around, try the forum, ring round, jeet, found, yeast. Everyone talks about jeet and his team. All ours, always there. 
Londis is a treasure trove. It's like the best. It's like the best camping shop. It's got everything. From 20 types of cheese down to 12. From 10 types of toilet paper down to 3. But he had cheese. And he had toilet paper. Ration supplies to help the most needy. Like a hub for the community. People who live at different ends of the same street meet here in the shop for the first time. Come in for directions, leave parcels for collection. Cycle from Stratford on the Greenway, come into the shop and ask, do you know where I am? One day a child asked, Mr. Londis, how come you're outside? Lots of sorrow about what will happen tomorrow. Time to reflect and think, but don't want to be pushed to the brink. Trying to switch off about worrying if I ever cough. Wishing happier times to come by listening to happy songs along with a hum. Appreciating the daily walk, but not seeing anyone to have a talk. Not watching the news as it is giving me the blues. Time ticking by so slow, but playing board games so we don't feel low. Enjoying extra time playing with the dogs, and in the garden we found lots of frogs. FaceTime becoming the daily way to chat with family who are far away. Putting up rainbows in a noticeable place to let the key workers know they put a big smile on our face. Go down in the woods today. Pack a picnic. Set a treasure trail. Pick pine cones. Get muddy in the stream. Take a book that someone's left for you to find and next week put it back. At four in the morning, sun rising, walk away, all worry and stress. Hold a teenage party, socially distant with friends. Clear up cans together before going home. See deer, buzzards, bees and polecats. Another set of habitats. Everyone's a sapling, replanted, putting down new roots, making home. Place making. A glimpse of white and black and dark blue hues caught by my wandering eyes among the green of the dense foliage. And there, perched on a branch, two joyous magpies. Boughs of ash trees flutter in the azure of this summer sky. Butterflies and bumblebees flip like acrobats in the meadowland below. The table lamp shades this tearful corner of myself while I listen to the laughter and chatter of birds soaring in their sunset flights. The phone rings, calls to me. Sudden raindrops burst through unexpected golden leaves. After the storm, solidarity is what binds us together. I long to be under the canopy of trees so tall like the owls in their nocturnal woods and sing of rainbows. An orange umbrella explores the solitary bramble fringe path, the scent of the earth in my lungs, the warm of the rain on my skin. I travel on memories of childhood long past, once I am here. You get to know the dog walkers by their dog's name first. 
here comes Daisy, here comes Poppy. Then the conversation starts and eventually you get to know their real names. I've met more people from the community since this lockdown period started than I had in the previous five years. Before, I just knew my neighbours on both sides. Since volunteering, I know the faces behind the windows. And there are lots of windows. We saw the woodland through the seasons. Every leaf, every tree, everything slowed down. I've become a bit of an amateur ornithologist. Black caps, chiff chaffs, long tail tits, they all have their own place. I could have taken up residence in this wood, found my own spot. I love living here, it's perfect. Hands down the best and nicest place I've ever lived. I lived 15 years in my old house, knew no one. Now my husband says, is there anyone you don't know? There's a pioneer spirit, people trying to make a go of it. It's a place to feel safe. We'll be here a long time. I call this home now. This lockdown time has shown us all what we hold so dear We'll shout it from the rooftops and make it loud and clear The woodland is our treasury and holds our natural wealth And guess what? They've discovered that it's good for mental health There's panic in the woodland, panic in the grass There's panic at the crossroads at what might come to pass We'll marshal all the arguments, get ready for a fight and you might see people up the trees if they're not afraid of heights. The promise of the woods, the promise of the woods, will do everything to make them keep the promise of the woods. There's a business park, a skateboard park, football pitch and gym, Londis and me on pizza that keep people coming in. You can cycle along the Greenway all the way to Stratford Town. And we just need buses on Sundays to help the workers get around. Some people say we're NIMBY, that label really great, cause we're the recent arrivals on a newly built estate. But they sold us with a promise of woodlands at our door, the oxygen of greenery, the peace, the trees, the air, the promise of the woods, the promise of the woods will do everything to make them keep the promise of the woods. The Iron Age warriors high up on me on hill are always watching out for us and standing strong and still. They stayed for many years and so we're here to tell the tale. And just in case you didn't know, our woodland's not for sale. Come babes in arms, come teenagers, come people one and all. We'll build our campaign strategy down by the village hall. A regiment of residents on this former army site. We might not be wearing uniform, but we're ready for this fight. The promise of the woods, the promise of the woods. We'll do everything to make them keep the promise of the woods. The promise of the woods. The promise of the woods will do everything to make them keep the promise of the woods.